Welcome to Gamer Gal Pals. I'm a gamer, Jill, and you're probably wondering what the fuck I'm doing here. Why, we're staring at a blank screen with Link and Navi and what looks like an item tracker? Well, in case you people haven't been to our streams or maybe you haven't seen these all over YouTube, there exists an Ocarina of Time randomizer. And I've had plenty of experience playing through some of them, and then I decided, you know what? Why don't I finally do one for our YouTube channel? I hadn't even opened up our seed yet, so I'm going to open it. And we're going to start playing it. And we're going to see how it works. Let me just find the... here we go. Uh, shit, it's not showing up. Soft reset. Of course you're going to do this to me. There we go. <laughs> Slight hiccup there. That's okay. That tends to happen when I play. All right. Got my controller ready. Got the tracker ready. And here we are. The Ocarina of Time randomizer. Oh lord. This is, uh... So, the, the thing about the randomizers is... A lot of shit can be random, including the background music. <laughs> All right. Um. Now, most people will like randomize the name, but you know what? I'm gonna put my name for now. We're gonna go ahead and just okay. So the freebie I get is that. Yeah, that's what. That's the freebie I get. Cool. Ooh. Oh, we get the title music for the inside the house. This is nice. Also, if you notice, I'm in a pink tunic because I decided on the tunic colors to be each of us girls' colors. So the Kokiri tunic is going to be pink for me. This is not hot pink, though, I gotta say. The Goron tunic is going to be purple, and the Zora tunic is going to be blue for Hillary. Oh, Kokiri Forest is the... Hyrule Field theme. That's neat. Hey, Saria, how you doing? <laughs> Very kind to you, Jill. Hey! Yeah. Navi's also different colors. She's a, a disgusting poop brown. Ew. Oh boy, this is going to be great. Anyway, randomizer. Yes, everything is random. This means that these four chests right here in Mido's house, they're going to be completely different items. So we're going to start with Epona's song. Cool. Requiem of Spirit. Okay. Five rupees. And 50 rupees. That, that's great. Okay. Cool. Ah, that's right, I gotta label these. So I got the Requiem of Spirit and Epona Song. Yeah, I've got the item tracker here to help me keep track of shit. You'll notice things starting to light up in the corner over there. But yeah, the idea of this is it's a challenge, you know, like doing the Nuzlocke with Pokemon. It, re it changes your... Uh, well, I mean, there are Pokemon randomizers, too. It's not just the Nuzlocke. Oh, Navi sounds like a Deku scrub. Oh boy. That sounds fun. Yeah, various noises are randomized too. Not all the noises, but Navi and my low health sound will be randomized as well. Heart piece. Cool. They're not the best, but they help. They give me more health. I welcome them. Dun, dun, da -ba -da -ba. Now we're going to step inside the shop. Because those are also randomized, by the way. All the shop items, and there could be potentially important items we would need to pick up, too, as well. So, 
I need to go step in the shop and take a look. But yeah, the idea of the Ocarina of Time randomizer is to challenge your way of thinking on how to play a Zelda game. And I really love this, because I'm someone who's played Zelda maybe 500 times over in her life. And sometimes playing the original one can get a little boring, you know? So it's exciting to have the- oh. Inside the shop theme is Kume and Kotaki's theme. <laughs> okay. There's some shady business practices going on here, like selling red rupees for 85 rupees. What? Okay, this makes sense. Ah, shit. There's no Deku sticks either. I can't buy those. Well, okay, this is a good start. Now we gotta go to the tree and see what that offers. Hey, fuckface. Oh, look! See, when, when Nafi highlights people, it's like a blood red. There's blood in her stool. <laughs> okay, what are the enemies? Oh, the enemies are the Shadow Temple theme! Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, I, I don't like that, actually. It's not that I think it's creepy, and I, it scares me. I think there's just other themes I've heard that have- oh. Okay. <laughs> the inside of the tree is the Goron village. Oh boy. Yeah, this uh, kind of turns your knowledge on Zelda games upside down on its head. But that's why I like it. You would think somebody like me would be all like, No, I can't do the randomizers, but... It's really fun. I'm kind of addicted to it. Five rupees. Be, be, get used to seeing those. Uh, I can't go that way without the Deku shield. It gets you thinking, you know? it Like, you have to maneuver your way around this game. Yes, hi, cat. Oh, shit. My cat distracted me. Fuck it, seriously, cat. Really? If you want on my lap, you can. Yes, Navi, I know. Uh, yeah, I have to climb up these vines without... Sorry, my cat is distracting me right now. Nope. Yes, Navi, I'm aware there's spiders on the wall. God damn it. Oh. My low health sound is Epona galloping. Okay. Not the worst sound, but okay, I can I can roll with it, you know, why not? Now I just need to pay attention to these guys, because I need to get up here to get a couple of treasure chests. I do not exist. Do, don't look at me. I really don't. The Shadow Temple theme is extremely distracting right now. I don't like hearing it. And again, it's not because I'm scared of it, but I think it's like... It's like one of my lesser favorite themes. Like, I'd rather hear the Goron Temple. Or Goron Temple. <laughs> Goron Village music. Although it's really distracting to hear the galloping. Serenade of Water. Okay, well, I can at least get the fuck out of here if I'd like. Oh boy. I need to get some health soon or I'm gonna die. Can you- uh, believe it or not, there's actually a hard mode where you can get way less health. You can even either, like, completely not get health at all, and then one hit KO, which is uber fucking difficult. Alright, more money. I'm not opposed to that because I can buy things in the shop. But that's not what I'm looking for. Ooh, I don't have any Deku sticks, so I can't get out of here. Okay, well, what we're gonna do... I'm gonna save. We're gonna do a soft reset. 
And that's necessary sometimes in this randomizer because you get stuck sometimes. I got some water with me. Water's important, guys. Always hydrate yourself. All right. Oh, look, I start, I, I have full health. Awesome. That's really great, actually. <laughs> but okay. So we're going to climb up. We're going to go through the spider web. We're going to go see what's in that chest down there. And then we're going to leave. And one of the things about the randomizer is you can skip story... Don't, don't. Thank you. You can skip story segments. Like, you are not required to... Oh, God. You are not required to beat the Deku Tree in order to leave the forest. You can actually have an open forest. Don't look at me. You can also skip certain segments, like sneaking into the castle, uh, escaping Ganon's castle at the very end of the game, and, uh, again, it depends on the randomizer you pick, because... Oh... Can I not get past this guy? Ooh... I don't have any... Z-targeting on enemies is a pot-breaking. Okay. I climbed all the way up here. God, these guys are good. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting past him. Okay. We gotta go get something to combat these guys. Yes, I know, Nobby. I don't like that Shadow Temple theme being the enemy encounter theme. I really don't. It's distracting. It's extreme. But hey, sometimes you run into runs you love and sometimes you run into runs you don't like. That's fine. That's the randomizer. So I'm gonna go see what I can get from a shop that would help. Like, I could buy some Deku nuts. I'm not spending 85 rupees for a red rupee. I'm sorry, sir. Anyway, some nuts ought to help. What I really need is some sticks, because I don't have the Kokiri Emerald. Kokiri Emerald. I don't have the Kokiri Sword right now. And Deku sticks work as a replacement for that until you find the sword. Uh, the Deku nuts work on these guys? No. Okay. I'm just gonna have to stun the Skatala and then run past it. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Uh, yes, I know, Navi. I know. Darling. But yeah, I've been streaming, like, multiple seeds of this, and so I eventually decided- And this was Hillary that suggested it, too. She could say, you know, why not try doing this for YouTube? Because a lot of people do it on YouTube, too. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's- let's give it a shot. Let's see how far I get with this. Yes, I know. I- <sighs> Oh, Lord. This is gonna be fun. I usually do a lot better. <sighs> really? <laughs> I am not used to recording this for YouTube, though. I'm definitely more used to doing this for a stream. So it is a little bit of a different experience. All right. Can I just jump past you? There we go. Perfect. All right. We're gonna light this fire. We're gonna get this treasure chest. We're gonna see how this goes. I got nuts. Okay. Um. 
Well, no, no slingshot, so I can't get any farther in here. So what we're going to do is let me get the camera stuck because I know how offering a time camera works. You gonna stay put here? Okay. So we're gonna keep these episodes fairly short. Um, probably 15 minutes I think is okay. Anyway, next episode we're gonna leave the forest. We're gonna go find Zelda. We're gonna see what she gives us and we're gonna go from there. See you guys next time. Bye.